Shalom. I want to start off by saying Kal Halal Yamla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rekha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth and who rule well. Peace and citations unto the Akim that is spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word of sincerity and the truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect. I'm the brother Kotazab Sayan, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahushai with another video, with another quick lesson. And Lord willing, this video is edifying. Come on. So, today is November the 3rd, 3rd of November, 2020. And Prime Minister Harate, Harate he came with some new national measurement measures. So, this is an article. I'm going to put it in the description box so you can read for yourself for the new measures are and I'm not gonna make this video too long I would just want to jump into the new measures and this is the list the new measures these new measures will be implemented alongside the ex existing measures cinemas to close theaters to close zoos to close theme parks to close libraries to close museums to close public swimming pools to close clubs and associations to close and this is the one that I wanted to bring out maximum group size of two when meeting outside if not the same household excluding children under 13 was previously four maximum of two household guests per day excluding children under 13 was previously three maximum of 30 people at funerals maximum of 20 people at weddings gyms, schools, shops, and hairdressers across the Netherlands will remain open. Gone. Which is the reason, or this is the topic of the video. Maximum group size of two when meeting outside. Gone. So as you know, when we, when we prophesy outside, we stand in a group, and the group is larger than two. But these devils, they want to come with these new rules, you know. But there's nothing you can do against the truth, but for the truth. And when they separate us like this, you know, that fires the spirit up even more. Because then more of the brothers have the, 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 the chance to speak, you know. More of the word is being uttered. Which is being, which the kingdom is then being faster spoken into existence. You understand? Because the scripture says in Matthew, but that's that's basically what we're doing. We're uttering the kingdom into existence because we were ordained to prophesy this word, and it's a vibration, you know. This is Matthew 8, verse 20. And Yahweh said unto him, No, Salakia. Matthew 18. Matthew 18, verse 20. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them. You see? So, basically, <laughs> this devil, he put it to a, a minimum. But the scripture also says, for where two or three are gathered in my name, which is in Yahweh Shai's name, which is the person that everybody ignorant calls Jesus, and he's only come for the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, because that those are the children of Israel. You know, we are the biblical Israelites. The Bible speaks of us. It's our history book. It tells us about the future, about prophecy, and what is happening right now unto us, that we are under the curses. According to Deuteronomy 28, if you read the book of Deuteronomy 28, then you will see that we are not made to prosper because we are under the curses, because our forefathers went off. We didn't, we didn't follow the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, which is the, the, the power that created the earth. We didn't follow His law, statutes, and commandments with gladness of heart. So we are being punished right now for our iniquities. But now, through Yahweh Shai, we can come back to 
the Father. And it reads here, For where two or three are gathered in my name, in Yahweh Shai's na name, there am I in the midst thereof. Gone. So let's go to the book of Philippians. 1. Verse 19. Because there's not anything this devil can do against the truth, but for the truth, man. He thinks he's trying to stop us, but this is even bringing a heavier vibration upon the earth, man. You see? Because this thing of ours is, the spirit of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Because, as I just read, where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them. So that vibration is going to be doubled. It's going to be tripled. You see? This is uh, Philippians 1 verse 19. For I know that this shall select yeah. for I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the spirit of Yahweh Basham of Yahweh Shai. You see? Let me read it again. It's Philippians 1 and 19. For I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer. And the supply of the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Because that's what I just read. When a minimum of two people are gathered in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, then it's, it's being magnified. So it's being supercharged, you know. If you watch Dragon Ball Z, then a fusion is being made. So, they be, so the spirit is even more powerful. It's Philippians 1 and 20, according to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness, that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep prophesying the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai in all boldness, as always, so now also Yahweh Shai shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. You see? So, we, the point is that with all boldness, we still are going to prophesy the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Let me see if I could find one scripture. Bear with me for a second. Gone, this is it. First Corinthians fourteen and twenty-seven. la Yahweh Basham Yahushai. First Corinthians fourteen. If any man speak in an unknown tongue, let it be by two, or at the most by three. You see, so the scripture says a minimum of two is necessary for this word to come out. If people are speaking in tongues, if you have one speaker and one reader, so a minimum of two is necessary for the ministry. And that's how Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai works. He's beautiful, man, you see. So when Esau thinks that he's going to block us, that's the minimum that Yahweh had in mind for us to do. It's 1 Corinthians 14, verse 27 again. If any man speak in an unknown tongue, let it be by two, or at the most by three, and that by course, and let one interpret. You see? So one is going to read, and the other one is going to interpret. He's going to make it consumable. He's going to make it to, for the people to understand. What is being read? Gone. Because in uh, verse 29, 
Prophet also says, let the prophets speak two or three and let the other judge, you see? So two prophets can speak or three. So one, one reader and one um, interpreter or at the most three. You see? Yahabasha Mayasha is beautiful, man. Gone. So with all boldness, we're still going to proclaim this. And if you go into the word boldness, it means in trust. And this, what I just read, it gives you trust in the works of Yahabasha Mayasha. You see? Because you can't do anything against it, man. He thinks he's going to fight against the works of the Most High, but the 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 words of the most high is building our faith up because we run into the scriptures and then we see hey wait a second no so this is just as Jehovah Shemiyosha had already planned it to be he had ordained it already beautiful so I'm gonna close it off with this this is a book of Proverbs twenty eight verse one the wicked flee when no man pursue it but the righteous are bold as a lion. Gone. And if you go into that word bold, it means with trust, with confidence. So even though they are switching these measures and making it tighter and more impossible for these people, we still stand in great boldness, man. We stand with trust in Yahweh Shai for doing his works. Gone. So, Lord willing, this video was edifying, and I want to say, Kal halal yamla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rekha Kudash, Shalom, Akim.